that scripture uh, to be a point, be apt to teach or appointed to teach? Second Timothy 2 and 24. And a servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach. Because we want to teach. We get rough out here sometimes, but our main point is that we're trying to get the edification out. But you ain't going to play us like you men standing here. You ain't going to treat us like we're some little women running or some children out here. You ain't gonna disrespect us like Esau has, has been made known that or tried to make known that we should be disrespected at. Right. No, we're gonna stand up like a man, but we're gonna have some discipline and restraint to try to edify you and teach you the best we can. Or to warn you the best we can. But if you wanna act the fool, you go up the block and we can go around the corner. Right. That's just what it is. That's but right. but we're apt to teach. Our number one goal is to so Israel, the elect of Israel, wakes up and that we more and check what's going on. And that we let all the other rest know. What's going on? It's not a warning, it's just letting you know what's going on also. God. That's the time. God. Verse 2 Timothy 2 and 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, meaning to uh, be, be out here to look for fights, oh, yeah, yeah. contention, but be gentle unto all men. Not docile, not little choir boys, right. but just not looking for, for uh, physical war all the time. That's not our job right now. Right. That comes later. When we become hunters. That's right. Apt to teach. Apt to teach. Patient. Patient. In meekness. Hey, we are, and you know, I've been saying about my brother, this new brother, you know, directly. We are, we make sure that we're long suffering more than we should be. More patient with you than we should be. We entertain bullshit sometimes, trying to be patient and long suffering that, that we can resist you, that you can try to wake up a little bit. But if that ain't the case, then you can get up a block, man. But, we, but we're trying to make sure that we're long suffering. And a lot of brothers out there do that. So that's the right spirit. Because uh, uh, it, it becomes a point in time where a person will come up, and you, and if, as long as they got questions, you'll yeah. continue to stand there and, and, yeah. and feed them. Yeah. And then sometimes that person may have came up in deception. Yeah. So in the beginning, it seemed like everything was flowing smooth. But then the demon uh, uh, is on them, yep. and, and they slid their way in and start scoffing. Then you, you know, all of a sudden start feeling like, hey man, I'm casting my pearls now. Right. I'm casting pearls. Yeah, but that, more. but that's just, but that was you when you was dealing with them. That person came in deceit, but you was doing it out of sincerity because you was uh, doing it long suffering. Right. You was, you was being patient with that person. Exactly. Yeah. And we be patient. Just yeah, we be patient with with demons. But then it gets to a head and the spirit of Beyond is like, all right, that's enough, that's enough. now. We got to cut you up and you, we got to send you on your way, man. If you can't keep up this far, then ain't nothing more to talk about. Exactly. That's what we part ways. 
But mainly we 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 supposed to be long suffering with Jake. That's uh, that's trying that's, that's trying to learn, man. Yeah. Okay, verse twenty five. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the Most High Part of Venture will give them repentance to acknowledging of the truth. That's exactly what we did, what I just said. Yeah. You know, sometimes a person might come up and gang say, and, and, and he might not. Like uh, the some people come up and it, the first, the first, uh, uh, the beginning of it is contention. Right. But then after a while, the most high starts to open them up to it. Next thing you know, they standing humbly and listening. That's exactly the guy that gave a testimony about how you want to get into that big fight up there. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Before, before all of that, we were sitting up here chopping it up. We were trying to, trying Put to that have Muslim, that Muslim Islam Islam shit. We're trying yep. to go on every heat, but see, you see, you dug in every direction. Uh -huh. Like, well, all right, y'all chopped down Muslims. Well, damn, y'all chopped down Egyptology. Then y'all chopped down Kenya. Then y'all chopped down the five to six. Y'all chopped every chopped down the church even. I thought y'all was the church. Like Christianity, no, we chopped all that down for the truth. Right. And by the end of it, he understood that that's what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad at you. It almost got carnal after a while. Right. You know, a bunch of niggas being, uh, a bunch of the niggas, you know, being called and, and yeah. you know, point fingers yeah. getting close. That yeah. happened, you know? That's how you address all men. So, you know? um, let me see if we can check the camera. Okay. Uh, well, we, it's, it's basically about the, so, right yeah, we could, we could, yeah. Now nah, it may go 10 more minutes. We'll just it may be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, verse 26. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. That may recover themselves that have been taken captive by the devil, by deception. Yep. Because when that guy in the temple, he was deceived. But we came up here and we started unlocking some of them chains that was on we start recognizing, like, oh, that's cool. Now we, now we, instead of nigga, you a nigga. We ain't no nigga, you a nigga. We ain't no nigga, you know, so doing that. Now we like, no, oh, okay, brother, yeah, that's cool, all right, yeah, that's what's up. Counting and dapping and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. That was it on that. Um, I think I might have found the super mode. Yeah, there we go. First Peter chapter three, verse 15. But sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Because that's what happens. People come up here like, whoa, what do you guys do? What do you know? What do you believe that, that sends y'all out of the corner like this? Well, we believe we have a heavenly father that's coming back to get us. So we get ready. We packing our bags, not our bags like that. We packing our spiritual bags. And getting ready and getting dressed so when he shows up, he knows that it's us that he's picking up. And that's our reason and our hope that we out here like this for. So we answer every man upon what, what we're doing out here. And there's more specifics about it, but in general, you know, to try to, to attempt a sound Sometimes they'll try to ask you just to test you. Right. See what you know because, you know, you got some guys out there that might learn and research and know about a little history. You know, so they'll try to come up and try to ask you stuff and in and, 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 and hopes of confounding you. Right. You know? That's why you're supposed to always look into things. And that's why they'll ask you a bunch of questions, you answer, and they'll but, find something that sounds good. That's what uh, but we always ask, but, from to Exactly, but every time we answer you, we never gonna leave from this. No. We'll never leave this to answer your questions. No. We're gonna always answer you with the word of the Heavenly Father, man. And that's why a lot of people come up and be like, no, 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 don't read it up. Yeah, they don't want like, that. And then you, you can't know? give you an answer. Exactly. You can only love you with your opinion. Now, I, don't want, I don't have an opinion no more. No. I go out of faith out of what's in here. Everything in here is going out of here. Well, everything we say still comes from out of here as a derivative of something that came out of here. Not changing it, but the essence of it spoken off the tip of the tongue, so to speak. Rather than verbatim, every time. That's right. First Peter 3 and 15. But sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to sanctify give. Sanctify the most high in your mind. What is it? 
in your heart says, well, be more and ready. be ready always. And be ready always to give an answer to anyone that have a reason to ask a reason for the hope that is in you. Yep. You know, always be ready to do that. And how are we ready? Because the Spirit gave it to the apostles and they passed it down like they were supposed to. And they always set us up to be ready to always give an answer. For the hope that is in us. And the word hope is brother broken down a while back. Uh, hope is what we need to expect. And while we expect, what we're doing is going to be fruitful to our lives. What? Our spiritual life. What is what? Proverbs uh, what, 26, I think. It says, answer, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he uh no, not the fool. Lest they be wise in his, uh, his own conceit. Because if he come in with foolishness, don't 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 waste your time with him. But sometimes if he come and ask you questions, it's because he's trying to test you or, or trying to see what you know. Right, and seeing that you're you're standing out here and you boldly proclaiming something. And that's what the brothers on 30, 34 to 7 did when, when, when Shaka Amo showed up over there. Yep. They answered his question, but then when the father came, they cut him off. I ain't answering that father shit. No, man, no, no. Uh, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 4. Answer not a fool according to his father, yep. lest thou also be life unto him. You yeah, turn waste to your time. yourself. Right? Yeah, you're wasting your time. Yeah. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. Yep, because if he, if he, if this fool thinks that you don't know anything, he's going to conclude that if you don't answer his question. Yep. You know, and, and, and not not just no silly question, but an actual question, something that that you know you probably yeah, should, you more than likely should know. It's cool to keep going. <laughs> it says. Verse 6, he that sendeth the message by the hand of a fool cut it off the feet and drink it dead. But they set you up to walk into quicksand. They set you up to be fucked up and get trapped up later, to get confounded, right? It says, the le verse 7, the legs of the lame are not equal. So is a parable in the mouth of fools. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't they're not coming to ask wise questions to get real answers. Yep. They're coming to do some bullshit, so be wise in how to answer them. Yep. 